Yeah. So let me ask you, did you find yourself ever faced with, you know, in coming into a male dominated, um, you know, industry, did you feel any of that imposter syndrome, you know, coming into that room or, you know, in that early stage of your career that it was hard to speak up and, and make your point be known? Or did you just, you know, go at it and not, and not really, you know, be affected by something like that? I think I found it always a little bit challenging. Um, I think when I was younger, I didn't realize that it was because I was a female or maybe because of the imposter syndrome, but certainly I have felt it. Um, I've walked into customer events with colleagues who are male and um, the customer always assumes that I'm the secretary <laughs> or even the, you know, like the work experience kind of learner. Mm. And I'm like, mm, no, actually I'm that guy's boss. Um, so sometimes I have walked <laughs> into those situations and had to do that awkward, no, I'm his boss yeah. um, <laughs> conversations. Um, so yeah. I wish I could have been there. That probably was <laughs> powerful moment to the women <laughs> yeah um and I think or I probably don't help myself in the terms of you won't be able to see this in the podcast but I'm quite a small female as well um so I I naturally kind of look younger although I think I'm getting older now but um oh, you know no. <laughs> that's even better in this story I love it but that always plays against you, right? That right. physical appearance and people, how they judge you, even if they try not to judge you by physical Absolutely. appearance, they, they look at they you do. and think, oh, you're that younger person or the work experience. So that's always played against me. But then mm. equally, it's always played for me because sometimes I've been sat quietly in the corner and then, you know, I come out with this amazing idea or amazing suggestion mm. and the customer's like, um, what now? Like what? What? <laughs> and it switches that dynamic immediately. It's that power yeah. of speaking up and just, you know, knowing what you know and, and going forward with it. But you're